Get up, get out, get around, and do it, do it! Hey guys, how's everyone doing today? I'm doing well, thank you for asking. Today, we're in the Everyday Kitchen. Yeah! Ah. Oh. <laughs> Alright, I'm feeling good guys, sorry. The Everyday Kitchen. Not only are we going to cook something up today, but we're going to try something for the very first time. Guess what? In other words, let me get you a little bit better view here. Pure farmland. Plant based. Soy, yada yada, so on and so forth. Plant based protein. In other words, basically your Beyond Burger type of stuff. It comes in basically a pressed looking patty. I'm going to just put the whole thing in the skillet. I'm going to cut it in half when it's time. Me and my wife are going to share it. It'll be her first time trying this type of a uh, in food, whatever, as well. So, I do have some french fries in the oven already ahead of schedule. Cooking instructions. I don't want to do the microwave. It's not recommended. Stove top. Place, place plant-based protein starters in large skillet over medium high heat. Break apart with spatula. It's not going to do that until moisture has evaporated and product browns about 12 minutes. Well, you already know what I'm going to do. I'm going to make burger patties out of this. So, let's do this, guys. Let's try some plant-based meat. Protein, if you will. Shall we? Let's go ahead and do our onion, which we always do. Always have to have an onion. Everything I make has to have onions. The protein is in the skillet cooking. You seen what I put on it? Salt. I put salt, pepper, some Worcestershire sauce. I did have a little oil in the pan that I let it heat up. I got my tomatoes and my onions cut and ready to go. Everything's ready. It actually looks pretty good. I'm not one of those weird people that are scared to try new things. I eat whatever, and if it tastes good, it tastes good. I don't care. Same thing with my turkey bacon. 
people look at that still today like it's kind of odd and strange, but it's been around for how many years now? A lot. I've been eating it for years. It's not going to taste like pig bacon. It's going to taste like turkey bacon. I love it. I love real bacon too. It's just more expensive. The turkey bacon is a little easier to cook. I'm throwing it in the microwave in three minutes. It's done. Don't have to mess with it. Good stuff. I'm looking forward to trying this. I'm going to have to call the wife. She's next door to mom and dad's. I'm going to have to call her to come over and test some stuff out. Don't know if I'll get her on camera. She's not all about the camera like I am. I like showing my pretty mug. Pretty color. All right, I put a couple of buns in the toaster. Just gonna toast them up a little bit. I was gonna do them in the skillet. And I still might do just a quick little dibby -dib 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 dab. has a nice look to it and it hasn't shrunk down that much either so it's gonna be nice big square patties on there mm. all right I'm interested I'm interested guys Let's see if we can finish up here and get this rolling just a little bit quicker I need to call the wife and get her back over here so she can try this. Can't wait. Alright. Time to get it out the pan. And put it somewhere.
dad grow up. All right, guys. The moment of the truth. My better half. Hello. If you don't want that on there, I'll delete it. <laughs> but I kind of want to get your reaction. Okay. okay. All right, come over here. This is going on. Okay. Simple fixing. Simple stuff. Baby spinach, that's good. No, no, baby, finish. I forgot about that. Okay. Okay. Alright. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. You want to see bite this? Okay. I want to see your reaction. What do you think? It's good. It is done. First initial reaction. It's really soft and juicy. Like really good or just like it, no it's really good it's just really 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 tender like super soft you are eating a plant-based patty hmm. plant-based patty hmm. i wouldn't have thought i wouldn't have thought that That's different. I would have never tried that on my own, ever. Yeah. That's good. It's going to take all I can to eat it. I'll get some after I get my burger. Yeah. Come on. Just a few. That's enough. Okay, so I guess it was a success with Miss Mikey Sims. Yeah, I haven't tried. Well, you got 
keep in mind it's not me. So, well, the missus, Mikeyson tried it. She seemed to enjoy it. She didn't eat it all. She wasn't hungry. She had a big lunch. But she's going to eat the rest of it later. Here's mine. I'm looking forward to it, guys. I'm sure it's going to be a big mess. That might be borderline amazing. Definitely a different consistency. Now I'm in no way saying that this tastes like spam. It don't taste like spam. Wait, have you ever had spam and it kind of has that kind of weird consistency? No, that's it. Maybe like a meatloaf? Almost a meatloaf, maybe. That's crazy. That's really good. Now I also overcomplicate my burger. I gotta have everything on a burger. But I think if you were to just go the bread, maybe some mayonnaise, the protein, an onion, something like that. If you don't mind trying something different, if you're open-minded, if you don't go into this saying this is a 
beef, this is a cow, this is a whatever your choice of meat product is for a burger. And you know what it is. Guys, that's crazy. Very impressed. Well, I've kind of ate everything off there now. Mm. And keep in mind, these are not supposed to be brown all, all inside. They kind of, they kind of stay pinkish looking. But understand, I believe it's a dye. I believe it's a beet dye coloring. So it's not raw. I would eat this all day long. It's going to be kind of a long video. I want you to see the whole process here. I could definitely substitute a normal burger patty with this for me. I don't know how it would taste if you threw it on a grill and had charcoal and or the hickory or some kind of something going. Or if you smoked them. You can't hardly beat an iron skillet though. Wow. Is it any more healthy? I have no idea, but it's definitely different, and it definitely tastes good to me. That's easily a five out of five, up there with any burger I've ever made, any burger I've ever ate. Good stuff, guys. All right, well, I'm gonna end the video here. Get stuff cleaned up. I'm gonna grab me a grab me a handful of fries and eat some fries. 
I'm going to tell you guys, give it a shot. Give it a shot. You won't be disappointed. Get it. Make sure you kind of get, let it get that crust on it. Mm. Sorry. Make sure you let it get that crust on each side. Cook it real good. <coughs> Throw you some Worcestershire, some A1 on it, something like that. I always use salt and pepper. Of course, I use my no salt. Anyways, guys, we're done. I hope you enjoyed this video. That's something I wanted to try for years. Uh, this isn't nothing new. They've always had like plant-based and different kind of uh, bean-based and different things, you know, for uh, meat substitutes. So um, that was good. I recommend it. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed the Everyday Kitchen. Hope you enjoyed my videos. Hope you enjoyed seeing Mrs. Mikeyson. Check out my channel, like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. And don't forget, guys, get up, get out, get red, and do it to it. Even when eating plant-based burger, protein, stuff. We'll see y'all later. Now go try that, that gum stuff. Protein. Go try that protein. I'm going to get some fries. Get up, get out, get ran, and do it, do it!